Hi dear students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Seema Dudley. Welcome to my 15th video on programming in Java. In this video too, we will continue with the operators used in Java. In the last videos, we have discussed arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, assignment operators, increment and decrement operators. And in this video, we will discuss about conditional operators, bitwise operators and special operators available in Java. When we have studied about the arithmetic operators, we discussed that there are three different types of arithmetic operators that is unary, binary and ternary operator. So here is an example of ternary operator that is the conditional operator. Conditional operator acts upon three operands. That is why it is known as ternary operator. And this operator is a combination of pair of characters that is a question mark and a colon. So the general syntax of conditional operator is expression 1 question mark expression 2 colon expression 3. And uh, explaining about this general syntax expression 1 expression 2 and expression 3 are three different expressions and uh, the expression 1 will be evaluated if expression 1 is a non-zero that means if it is true then the uh, value of this conditional expression is expression 2 if the expression 1 is false then the value of this expression is expression 2 3 anvachala expression 1 evaluate okay for example 5 greater than 2 5 greater than 2 and varaybo true aanannundengile ee expression de value expression 2 il endano koduthekunnathu adayirikkum ee expression de value ini expression 1 false aanannundengile aa expression de value nu varaynathu expression 3 here is an example to explain the conditional operator in detail that is here uh, we have assigned two values for a and b that is a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 15 then next statement is a conditional statement that is x is equal to a greater than b question mark a colon b this means the first expression that is a greater than b will be evaluated and if the evaluation is true then the value of that expression will be a and if the first expression is false then the value of that expression will be b here a greater than b that means 10 greater than b 10 greater than 15 the expression is false so it will be taking the value of b b the value of the 15 so the 15 will be assigned to the variable x this is the way a conditional operator works next operator is the bitwise operators and the bitwise operators are special operators. They are used to manipulate the bitwise operations. That is to manipulate the data at values of bit level. And there are different types of bitwise operators supported by Java. And they are, the symbols are also given and the description that is bitwise complement, left shift, right shift, unsigned right shift bitwise and bitwise exclusive or and bitwise inclusive or these are the different bitwise operators supported by java and these operators are not uh, commonly used next is a special operators 
the first special operator supported by java is the instance of operator this instance of operator is used to check whether the object on the left hand side is an instance of the class given in the right hand side nammude left hand side il koduthirikkana object ennu parayunnathu right hand side la specify cheyidittulla class inde object thanne aano ennu check cheyunnathinu vendittulla or operator aanu instance of operator and it is a keyword that is instance of the general syntax is person space instance of student here student is an object and person is a class so this statement will be checking whether the object student is an instant of class angane aanundundengile it will be returning true otherwise it will be returning a false next special operator provided by java is the dot operator that is the symbol full stop it is used to access the variables and methods that are declared inside the class by using the objects namla object use edittu class nagathulla variables name that is methods name access cheyan vendittu use cheynadana dot operator for example person dot age here person is a object and age is a variable inside the class and also person dot salary of person is a object and salary of is a method inside the class an assignment question connected with this session is explain the conditional operator bitwise operator and the special operators provided by java so write the question and answers in your notebook and send the pictures in the email id provided okay thank you